So I've got my mom on. Hey, mom. Hi. <laughs> okay. So today my mom is going to be on her issuing PowerShell commands to remediate vulnerabilities because at the end of this video, those of you that are scared to do this should have no excuse. And by the way, my mom's 70 years old. So let's get into it. All right. So today we're going to be dealing with Microsoft 3D Builder, Microsoft 3D Viewer. These are vulnerabilities that I see absolutely everywhere. And so I'm actually doing something a little bit different today. So a couple things. Let's look at this first, but I'm going to be uh, showing you live because I'm actually having to remote in because this video is going to be about manual remediation, which means that we run into something and because we're trying to execute it remotely, it doesn't work. So I'll be actually going to copy this path here. Or uh, actually, I just need a portion of this, okay? Because what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually on uh, my mother's machine. This is where the vulnerability that I'm remediating. So I'm going to go ahead and open. Um, basically, I just need to run PowerShell. So we need to launch PowerShell as administrator. So things are going to be a little bit slow since I'm executing this remotely. All right. And I actually got my mom here, my earbuds uh, working through this. So I'm going to run this as administrator. Okay. All right. So I want you to type this message. I just sent it to you. All right. And press enter. And I'm, I'm going to put you on speakerphone. Mom, okay. Okay. You hear me, mom? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a, so that, yeah, so that's called a pipe. It's a vertical line and it's uh, typically right oh, above your inner key. Yeah, you have shift and good stuff. Is that right? A space was supposed to be a space? No, nah, you're right. You're right. Space, okay. then vertical. We call it a pipe. And then another space. Okay. And then you, the where, where dash object. Uh, all right, space. And then there's open bracket, dollar sign, underscore period display name with a capital d display name one word or actually instead of display name just change that to name so remove the word display yeah okay and space between a period and, and uh no that's fine so just name and then the word uh space minus like or space we call it a bang so space bang like there you go space double quotes and then Microsoft dot 3D Builder, just like it's on the in the text. How come it changed colors on one? Uh, because when we're putting in these commands and stuff like that, different parts of the command like get highlighted because that's basically telling us all this list of stuff that you saw appear here when we put that first command in. We're using this command to search through it, and that's what we're searching for is Microsoft 3D Builder. And then let's see. Make sure I typed it right. That's good. That's okay. All right, press enter. No, I ain't got no dot. That's Microsoft a dot. No, that's oh, that's right. Put the dot in. Yep. Let, let me put it in where I'm taking that out. Yes, ma'am. Just press the dot right there, and it should put it in for you. I can't see where it did. It's at the end of the line. So use that. Press the backspace key one time, and use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move it to the left, to move the cursor to the left, and then right there on the three, and just press the dot right there. Okay, now press enter. Make sure that's right. That's okay. All right, go ahead and press enter. There you go. Okay, so let's change this command. So instead of that, press the up arrow on the keyboard. That brings up the last command that you type. So this is how we keep from typing the same thing over and over again. Okay, so press the, the up arrow on the keyboard one time. See how it brings the previous command up. Uh -huh. And between the double quotes where it says Microsoft.3D Builder, just put, uh -huh. put asterisk 3D asterisk in between those double close so replace microsoft.3d builder with asterisk 3d asterisk uh -huh. replace so microsoft 3d builder so first thing you want to do is backspace to your cursors under that set that last double quote so you i'm oh, sorry use the left arrow no no sorry sorry use the left arrow don't backspace okay. all right and then oh no no put your cursor under the last double quote okay. now backspace to remove the word Microsoft.3D Builder backspace until you just got two double quotes right there together. Okay, now just type asterisk 3D asterisk. The asterisk symbol? Yes, it's like the shift eight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 3D. Asterisk one. 3D, like Microsoft 3D, just 3D by itself though. Capital D. Yep, that's fine. I think it doesn't matter. And then asterisk. Now, what that's doing is that's searching through everything that you got that just all this output that 
And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give up control because it's not working anyway. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through some things here. So you see where it says name right here? All right. So basically what, what we're doing is this this code, the get appx package command that you ran, it gives all this output. And I know it looks like a bunch of gibberish, but it's actually not that complicated, right? And what we're doing is we're gonna say where object, so where the name, which is this field right here, where the name equals anything with 3d in it so if any of these names have 3d in it it'll find it okay and so all right press enter now and let's see if we get a hit i don't have to move the cursor to the right no ma'am okay. okay so none of that has 3d in it so that that makes this really really complicated because the files that we're trying to get off your computer don't seem to be associated with an application that we're looking for okay so I got okay. another, I got another command and unfortunately they, they're not getting shorter. <laughs> okay. This, this is going to be a tough one, mom. All right. So let's, let's see if we can actually get, get pull this one off. I'm going to text it to you. All right. There it is right there. So it gets, gets even longer. Now I, oh, that's something I can do. Um, I think I can make this, I can paste this in zoom chat. So if you can figure if you can see what a chat is. I can paste the command. You can just literally copy and paste it from the Zoom chat. I don't know. Let me see. So, do you see what a chat popped up? But it ain't, um, it's not. Uh, like it's, uh, uh, like it, start over. No, it's on that long. It's on that bar. It's got security, participants, chat, screen share. I, it should be a bar somewhere on your screen. It's oh, got. Okay, up at the top. Yeah, and the Zoom meeting is going to disk. Yeah, and when you click on that participant chat. Oh. Participants to and, and or chat. Chat. Oh, sorry. Click on chat. Yep. And then you should see where I pasted the command. Uh -huh. And you can just right click that command and do copy. You don't have to highlight it. Just right click the little blue bubble, copy, and then click on the blue screen where you've been typing the stuff and then click paste. Uh, on the, where the cursor is or the next line? Uh, it's actually already on the next line. So we're just right click and right, paste. Okay. Yeah. After you press I enter. Sure. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just right click and paste. Right click and paste ain't working. Then okay. try try control V on the keyboard. Control first and then the word V key. And press enter. Okay. So we found one. Okay, that's good. So I'm gonna paste the next command. And this in theory should remove it completely. But once again, this hasn't worked very good. So we'll see. Copy that one. Yes, ma'am. Copy that one and then paste it. Yes, ma'am. And press enter. Is that the right thing? Yes, yes, ma'am. Press enter. Uh, what? Did I do something wrong? Nope. Nope. Uh, okay. Press the up arrow on your keyboard again, just like you did before to bring up the previous command. Press it one more time to bring up the command before that. And then press enter. I think you got it, ma. Whoo. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next one. So now that we got that, um, Wow, I'm so excited because two weeks of working on this, I'm tired of working on this vulnerability. <laughs> so, but yeah, so you're, you're actually going to be certified after this, mom, because most people, even in cybersecurity, never even do this kind of stuff. A lot of times they don't get hands on with the command lines and stuff like that. But basically to explain what you just did is we're using these commands. Like when you go to the Microsoft store, right? You saw those applications that you download. Well, Sometimes what happened is these applications are uninstalled, but it left this residue in there. So, or this, this, it's like it. And so, and what, when I do a scan for vulnerabilities, my scanner sees that these files are still on your computer and they have vulnerabilities that people who are hacking can use to, to exploit something on your computer. And so what I'm doing is I'm actually having to go through and run these commands because the program is gone. So I can't just uninstall the program, but I got to run these other commands to actually get rid of the application, which is still on there but it doesn't really show up anywhere. Okay. Okay. So, so that was one. Uh, let's see what the other one is here. Uh, so we got 3d builder and then we got 3d viewer. So we want to really look and see where all the apps that have 3d anything in them. So that's what I'm going to paste this next command. And every time I, and every time I run a command, what I'm doing basically mom is I'm basically, I'm trying, I'm, I'm running these commands that query your system to see what's there. And then I use that information 
to be able to kind of make the determination what command I'm going to have to run next. So that's the thing. I'm like, run this command to check this based on the output of that command. Okay, here's the command we need to run next. So I'm trying to install, we got rid of 3D Builder, but there's another application that called 3D Viewer that has high severity vulnerabilities. So if you copy that command from chat and paste that command, that'll give me some more information about all the 3D apps that are left on your machine. And then I can format a script that's gonna uninstall them basically. All right, press enter there. Okay, so it's saying no 3D apps exist, <sighs> but I ain't, I ain't buying it, okay? So uh, seeing is believing. So let's see, get out provisions where object display name is equal to 3D asterisk. Um, I gotta change the command, the script, the script is wrong. I gotta see like instead of equal to. If I say equal to, it has to be an exact match. So it would have to be asterisk 3D asterisk in the, in the name field. So if I say like, that means it understands that I mean anything that's got 3D in it. So, so copy the command I just put in chat and pay in. Let's do that one. Okay. And press enter. Bingo. Okay. So I'm going to make two new commands and one command is going to say, look for, if you see this application here, uninstall it or here. Um, but I'm also going to try something really clever. I'm going to say, if you see, if anything matches asterisk 3d asterisk uninstall it, and I think I can uninstall them all at one time. So let's do that. Let's, let's take the, the super cool, combine everything into one command. All right, hold on a second. So I'll pull this on the screen so, so folks who are looking at the video can see what I'm doing. Cause that's why I always keep, I keep my notepad or text editor on my screen. And uh, in this text editor, I'm, I'm building out the commands. That way I can just paste them in chat for you. And this is literally, sometimes I end up doing this at work too. Even with technical people, I have to give them the commands for the run for me because I can't run it myself for some reason. Okay. All right, so here's the command. I'm gonna paste this in chat. And uh, let's, I gotta clear that, clear my joins, close my little annotation tool. Okay, all right, there it is. Let's copy this one and paste that one. There. Yes, ma'am. And then press enter. And it'll take a second. Okay, not finished yet. I should, I should get two entries like that. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so now press the up arrow on your keyboard one time and it'll bring up the last command that you ran. Press it one more time, and it'll bring up the command that I ran before that. And this is the command that's gonna say, give me a list of these Windows applications where the display name is has 3D in it. So press enter, and this time it should come back with nothing. Perfect, okay. So that being the case, um, I'm gonna now change over and I'm gonna look through your actual files on your hard drive, okay? And we're actually gonna walk you through doing it. <laughs> to see if this application is actually been uninstalled, okay? Because if it's uninstalled, then that means this folder where it lives should no longer be there, okay? All right, so here's the command. CD space, paste that, press that enter. You should be able to, ca to copy that. But basically, just like you have browsed the files using your file explorer on your taskbar, I'm just, changing into that directory but i'm doing it all in the command line but i'm going to that directory and, and basically going to look at the files that are in there so copy and paste that and i should get an arrow saying that the f folder doesn't exist all right and press enter that looks good that looks good okay so when i see red that's scary <laughs> red is good because when we tried to change to that folder it says it doesn't exist anymore and i know that's correct so and that's what i want to see so hold on a second, let's take, let's take a look at the second one here. I think you're taking, this, this is gonna be the greatest video ever. Oh, all right, Ma. All right, so what you gotta do, yeah, we gotta start the Zoom meeting. All right, let's, I'm gonna send you another link, okay? Okay. All right, so, okay, so the Zoom meeting council, so we back. And what I want you to do now is I'm gonna give you another command, Ma. And this is gonna be, we're gonna change to the folder and we're gonna look at for anything in that folder that says 3D, okay? So let me bring up the chat again, and I'm gonna type this up in chat for you. So CD space, double quotes, that path, and press enter. So you should be able to copy and paste that. I don't see anything yet. Uh, you gotta find the chat again, so. CD three, I see colon backs. Well, just, yes ma'am, copy that. That's the right thing though. Yes ma'am. Okay. 
Okay, right click. I want to make sure that's the right thing. Oh, I'll, I'll pay. Is that it? That's it. Press enter. All right. All right, there's a second command. Copy and paste that one. All right. And press enter. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff on there that says 3D. Oh, because, yeah. So hold on. We got, we got to be more specific on this one. So. Let's see. Okay. All right, I'm pasting another command. M I C R O S F 3D Ash. Okay, there you go. Copy and paste that one because there's actually a 3D at the end of every last one of those links. <laughs> that that A W E K Y B 3D. So it actually found every last one because it's looking at all those names. So if you copy that, copy that next command I put in the chat. Let me see what happens now. Yes, ma'am. Press enter. That's really promising. Okay, so that being the case, um, that's it, mom. That 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 vulnerability has been remediated, and uh, let's see what else we got on your machine. Looks like we got one note on your machine. I'll probably tackle that one by myself, but that's a medium severity vulnerability. So if this all goes right, um, you should have one vulnerability on your machine. I'm gonna start scanning tonight, and we might get to do this again tomorrow. <laughs> so. But your computer will literally be zero vulnerabilities if we get this right. So for everybody in the video, I would say, first of all, thank you for watching. Hey, if my mom can do PowerShell commands and can start to kind of understand this, then y'all have no excuse at this point. So my mom is 70 years old, just turned 70, just celebrated her birthday. And so she's on here doing PowerShell cybersecurity. And honestly, I know if, if mom was interested, she could work through it. So once again, y'all should not be scared of this. Don't be a scared of the command line. And I'm going to continue the series, but I'd love to hear feedback. Drop a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.